basically, we've got this crossover between these two symptom complexes, upper cervical symptoms, that includes dizziness and balance, vertigo, headaches, cognitive impairment, and visual impairment, and other things as well. But if you also look at concussion symptoms, it's pretty similar. Cognitive impairment, headaches, dizziness, and balance, visual impairments. So how many concussion patients also injure their necks? One from a concussion registry showed that uh, about half of concussion patients had neck pain. One from an ER scenario, and this was acute to chronic, half to two thirds had neck pain. And then in a military setting, almost all of them had neck pain. Usually it's a facet joint and or the ligaments that hold things together. If you hit the head and the head's connected to the upper neck, we know that you can injure the facet joints and the ligaments. So if you've had a concussion and you still have symptoms, what can you do? Get your upper neck checked. But include digital motion x-ray and upright MRI with flexion and extension. So in summary, concussion patients frequently injure their necks. Cervical symptoms from the upper neck mimic many concussion symptoms. So 